Senator Wright. Senator Wright. Order. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Attorney General representing the Justice Minister. In August 2013 and in January 2014, Chile's Supreme Court issued extradition orders for Adriana Rivas, who has lived in Sydney on and off since 1978 and last arrived after fleeing Chile in 2010. Ms Rivas has been charged with crimes against humanity, including torture, kidnapping and murder, arising from her alleged activity as a torturer with the Pinochet regime. Eighteen months later, it's not clear what, if any, action has been taken by the government. Can the Attorney-General please advise the Senate what actions have been taken towards Ms Rivas' extradition? The Attorney-General, representing the Minister for Justice, Senator Brandis. Uh, well, thank you very much, Senator Wright, for that question, and thank you for the advance notice you are good enough to give to my office. But, Senator Wright, I have to tell you that it is the long-standing practice of Australian governments not to comment publicly on extradition matters, including whether the Australian government has either made or received an extradition request until a person is arrested or brought before a court pursuant to a request. And you'll understand, I think, Senator Wright, that the purpose of that practice is to avoid giving a person who may be the subject of an extradition request the opportunity to flee and avoid arrest. So I'm not in a position to respond to your question, um, Senator Wright. Thank you, Attorney. Uh, Senator Wright, supplementary question. Yes, thank you, uh, Attorney. I have a supplementary question. Um, given that this is clearly on the public record, there's been newspaper articles and an SBS television doc, um, report on it, there are serious concerns that Ms Rivas could flee Australia while the government drags its feet in relation to her extradition. <laughs> Acknowledging the weight of allegations being made against Ms Rivas, involving eight victims, including one of whom was a pregnant woman, why hasn't the Australian government acted to provisionally arrest her while they investigate the case? Attorney General. Senator Wright, I am aware of the press reporting around this case, but uh, I think you'll well understand as well, Senator Wright, that um, the practice of Australian governments, of both political persuasions not to comment on extradition matters, is a practice which has to be applied uniformly, uh, and, it, and it is going to be applied consistently with uh, pre-existing practice on this occasion. Senator Wright, a final supplementary question. Yes, finally, a further supplementary question. Given that the matter is on the public record, the government has sat on the extradition request from Chile for 18 months and has failed consistently to give any information to members of the Chilean community in Australia who are understandably concerned. My question is why is the government so opposed to transparency in this matter? Attorney General. Well, the government's not opposed to transparency, but there are reasons why Australian governments don't comment on pending ex extradition requests, and I've just explained those matters to you, uh, Senator Wright. And I'm afraid that there's nothing more I can add.